And a warm welcome from North London. We're at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Lemina. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, Martin Odegaard is supremely gifted, and I wonder, Stuart, what role you think he'll play in this game? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. The initial 11 for Wolves. Ruben Neves plays with Mario Lemina in the centre of midfield, and it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal-scoring threat. showing excellent judgment to intercept Mateus Nunes this is Diego Costa Cunha still trying to make something happen and it's in 1-0 they breach the defence Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Jesus. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Really bright-looking attack. And will it be the leveller? And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Dense. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Lemina. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Martin Odegaard. Bukayo Saka. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, surely. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. kick off again 2-1 the current state of affairs for dance it's with Ruben Nervous and Wolves looking dangerous physically strong and secure on the ball well read to ease the pressure Diego Costa 
Return to Nervis. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. As you can see, Arsenal are seeing less of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, can they open up the defence here? Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Moving forward effectively. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Difficult to stop him. Save, but still a chance. Well, it came to nothing in the end. So, half-time, that will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. I think... Arsenal with the lead, going into this second half, but no room for complacency. And a chance, Erdegaard! It has to be! In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. And strong play here. Well, that's the end of that move for now. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Is this the moment? And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick! Absolutely unplayable today! What a performance! Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. So the game continues, and Arsenal cantering to victory now. William Saliba. Bukayo Saka. Well, the ball back with Wolves here. Bodies forward and the break looks on. They need to get bodies back. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Gabriel Jesus, well, able to close down the short. Diego Costa. Oh, that's a fine pass. It should be. Nelson Semedo, and he's made it a brace for himself. The defenders just unable to stay with him, and he's having a field day. 
Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Diego Costa. Substitution for Martin Erdegaard. Coming off the pitch. Number 34. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Oh, fancy footwork. With the owner of the blue car registration, BG. Oh, dance. D-O-M. Please return to your vehicle. Your lights are on. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Cunha, opportunity for them to get back into the game. Well read to put an end to that attack. Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. And he stopped them in their tracks. Cunha. Now Diego Costa. Magnificent defending. Just ten minutes remaining here. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. And the substitution will occur now. Double substitution for Wolves. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Daniel Pellets, and number 29, Diego Costa. Coming onto the pitch, committed challenge, 10, Pablo Sarabia, and number 9, Ryan They need to get tighter here. But they took care of the situation defensively. Sarabia. Cunha could pull one back here. Gabriel Jesus. That strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early. And that's a waste of a great opportunity. Jorginho. So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them.